How do you turn trash in space into treasure in space? With science in space, duh. We sent Fig to learn how from NASA's Annie Meyer. At the Kennedy Space Center, they do a lot of space stuff. And some of it's trash. Oh, not like it's bad trash. It really is just about trash in space. To find out why space recycling is so important, today I'm meeting Annie Meyer, a chemical engineer here at NASA. I didn't have a dishwasher growing up, so I always had to do the dishes. So when I was in high school, I had this chemistry teacher, and that teacher explained to me how soap works, and I was like, whoa, I mean, this is chemistry everywhere. And I, from that moment forward, I just looked at the whole world differently. Today, Dr. Meyer is going to tell us how NASA's working to turn garbage into useful gases with the help of some space-age engineering. What is a chemical engineer? The way I think of it is we're like fancy cooks. We're taking raw materials, doing something with it, this chemical reaction, and then we get a product out of it. What projects are you working on right now? Well, here in the lab, uh, we work a lot with OSCAR, which is Orbital Syngas Commodity Augmentation Reactor. Woo, glad there is an acronym for that. <laughs> OSCAR is a trash processing system where we're looking at how does trash get processed in microgravity. So astronauts can't just throw their trash out into space. Right now on the International Space Station, they're throwing out some trash and they're putting them into these bags. They actually stuff it inside this vehicle and that vehicle gets sent into Earth's atmosphere and burns up. And so as we go beyond low Earth orbit and beyond the International Space Station, we want to recover as much as we can. So what kind of stuff are you turning trash into? We're hoping to recover gas so that we can use it as fuel, any of the solids, and we also try to recover as much water from the trash. We're basically looking at different reactors or ways that we can heat up or chemically convert those solids and we're testing things like temperature and pressure and we want to make sure the gases that we're producing are not harmful um, and that they can be used for what we want them to be used for. Oscar is still in development, but he's coming to life on this rack. At the top, what's called the confetti cannons shoot shredded trash into the reactor to mix with oxygen and combust at up to 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. Then hot gases move through a condenser to cool down and into tanks at the bottom. What kind of gas are you looking for? We primarily try to make carbon dioxide, which we would then convert into a gas called methane. That is a fuel that's used in a rocket engine. Well, all of our trash going into it has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in the solid form, and we're just manipulating it to be the carbon, oxygen, hydrogen form in the gas phase. What kind of trash goes into Oscar? Things like their food packaging, their shirts. Everything right now is single, packaged and there's so much plastic left over. So Oscar can convert uh, on long duration ground tests over 90% of the trash into wow. the gases. Oscar has already been to space twice on suborbital missions and NASA tests the gases it produces during its trials with a gas chromatograph. I feel like a real NASA scientist. This lets the team know if the gases in their sample are what they expected or if they need to adjust their recipe. So this is a good spectrum, I'm happy with it. I would save this and I would go, you know, calculate some more runs and I like this scan. So it sounds like the work that you're doing is really impactful. I hope that some of the technology we make through Oscar and the trash processing work can um, translate back to Earth so that we're not just surrounded by heaps of our trash. There's so many resources that get thrown away, but if we can basically put it through a chemical engineering process, uh, we can get resources back out of it. You have to be sustainable. There's not enough resources on this planet to just use it all up. So this project is going out to space, but maybe the tech can come back to Earth. I hope so. And actually, that was one thing I loved about NASA. I had no idea how much technology that was developed came back to Earth and was commercialized and helps people. I love outer space, but I also love our planet. And so seeing the technologies that are helping people and the innovations um, is, what, is what made me so happy to, to say I'm a NASA employee. Amazing. <laughs> you have the coolest job. <laughs> space garbage lady, I guess, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.